Petersburg Castle looms over one of the most important trade routes through the Alps. In the Middle Ages, silver was already being mined in the area. Peter Litzi regularly goes up to the attic of the castle, for this is where a nocturnal animal comes to rest during the day. The bats are spread out over a radius of 30 kilometers in summer. Some are here in the castle, others in a nearby church. They like to stay in the churches and old roofs of Friesach. As soon as it starts getting cold, they come back to the silver mine to spend the winter. It was in an old silver mine that Peter Litzi first became interested in bats. He had bought an old miner's hut, and while having it converted, he stumbled across the tunnel. My main house is right in front of the mine, and in the evening, when we had dinner outside, bats were always flying around, so I asked myself where they came from. We finally twigged that they were flying in and out of the mine. Peter had actually intended to set up a wine cellar in the mining gallery. But when he saw the number of bats that lived there, he decided not to disturb their home. Together with Stefanie Wolfhardt from the local office for bat protection, he now studies the population living in the mine. When they try to leave the mine, the animals get tangled up in the nets and can be counted. Bats are associated with blood-sucking creatures. We're very happy to have them here, as there are hardly any insects. And when you watch them, then you can see that they're actually very lovable animals. At the moment, some 140 bats are in the gallery for the winter. In the whole of Carinthia, only around 8,000 remain. I'm very proud of the tunnel because it was one of the first silver mines here in Carinthia. The mines are spread throughout the entire mountain. It's full of holes, a bit like Swiss cheese. It feels as though they only stopped mining last week. It's still dry and easily accessible. The silver mine is a complex labyrinth. The lesser horseshoe bat that lives here has become rare in Central Europe. One of the reasons for this is the lack of suitable wintering grounds. <laughs> Biologist Stefanie Wolfart is fascinated by the animals, as they're the only mammals that can fly. The temperatures in the mine are consistently between 6 and 7 degrees all year round, ideal conditions for its winged inhabitants. One of Stephanie's tasks is the exact documentation of the animals living in Carinthia. The facts and data about each animal are precisely recorded and evaluated. Being awakened is stressful for the animals. The scientist needs to be very gentle when dealing with her charges. The bats are measured, examined for injuries and tagged. Now they can be identified when they reappear in a different place, and their migratory paths can be retraced.
the small insect eaters only weigh a few grams. After being put on the scales, the bat is hung back up in its resting place.